If the devil can't get to you, he will send somebody to you. If you have been turning away from sin, reading your Bible, turning to Jesus, praying protection from the Lord all over yourself, your family, your loved ones, don't be surprised when Satan sends somebody your way to distract you, to harm you, to put witchcraft on you. Don't be surprised because he's sneaky and he's out to steal, kill, and destroy. So what do we do when this happens? There are three steps. There are three things that you do. But the first thing that I need you to understand is that the Bible says our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against people that we see right in front of us. It's against the demonic spirits that are operating behind the scenes, that are operating through that person that are after you. It is not the person. It is the demonic spirit. When you're in a spiritual attack, it's easy to get confused and scared and in your head. So the first thing that we do when we recognize we're in spiritual warfare is we repent. That means to turn away. So we turn away from believing the lies of the devil, whatever he's putting in your head to cause fear or intimidation or panic or whatever it is. We turn away from the lies and the voice of the enemy and we repent and we say, God, I'm so sorry for doubting you. I know you're a promise keeper. I know that your word is true. The second thing we do is spiritual warfare. We pray and we ask the Holy Spirit to fill us up. We invite the Spirit of God into the situation and we ask Him for direction. Get in the Word and speak the Scripture out loud for whatever situation you have going on. Pray and rebuke the demonic spirit. If it's a spirit of lust that's attacking you through another person, I bind every spirit of lust in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it. I cast it out and I cast it far from me in Jesus' name. That is how you pray. And then you speak the Scripture and you fight and you get in your word if you need to fast go on a fast and whatever you do do not run if you need to tell a leader if you need to pray with somebody about it but don't run away don't let the devil intimidate you don't let his demons his little henchmen intimidate you you have power over every demonic spirit over every attack sent your way because you have the power of the living god inside of you you have the holy spirit inside of you so whenever you speak to that thing and you command it to go it has to obey because those things are subject to the name of jesus they tremble and they flee whenever they sense the presence of God and we command them to go. And number three is worship. Worship and praise God. Thank him. Glorify him and lift him up. Whenever we lift up God, our problems get smaller and our God gets lifted up and glorified and he begins to speak to us and reveal to us what we need to do. And you proclaim and you declare that the victory is won because that's what the word of God says. And you worship and you speak the truth and you say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. If God is for us, who can be against us? Every chain will break. Every sickness, every curse, every Everything spoken against me will break because of Jesus and you speak it and you worship and you prophesy your victory and you believe it. That is how you respond when the enemy sends somebody your way. Thanks for watching and hit that plus button for more spiritual tips.